Not bad, Agent Mulder. You know, I've been trying to access the CPU for the past two years. Now, please, take out your gun and remove the clip. Hi, technology. Rise of computers in the early 90s caused several movies and television shows to explore the fear of this new technology and what would happen if we as humans lost control over it. So this was a very topical subject to tackle for the X-Files with their seventh episode, Ghost in the Machine. This episode takes place in the headquarters of a software company where the strange death of the CEO gets the attention of the FBI. Not Mulder and Scully however, but rather Mulder's old friend Jerry Lamanna, who seeks out Mulder's help as he is desperate to solve the case as he believes his career will be over if he doesn't deliver. As a computer guy myself, these type of stories about men vest technology rarely work. Unless it's called the Terminator, of course. Because a lot of these was made during a time period when only nerds like myself had an insight on how computers function. Most of the times the story was very over the top and unrealistic. And that's my problem with Ghost in the Machine. The idea that the operational system that controls the entire headquarter building becomes evil is just silly and some of the stuff it is able to do makes me laugh more than anything else. Especially when the bloody thing has apparently managed to install a voice for itself. And yeah, an evil building. Unless you put some demons or ghosts in it, then that just doesn't work for me. That being said though, revisiting it and looking at the floppy disk and the dust screen is kind of fun. Rob LaBelle gives a good performance and was also a good choice as the computer wizard Brad Wilczek. When the wall shows up as agent Jerry Lamanna, he's a bit goofy and brings a lighter side to the episode without overdoing it. The director of this episode is Gerald Freeman. He would also come back to the show later on this season with the creepy episode Born Again. I guess he tried there, but the material was just not strong enough to build any tension of. So Ghost in the Machine continues the bad funk the show was in during this period of the first season. It's not poorly made, but the story just doesn't do anything for me, and the most fun about the episode is looking back at it now and have fun with the lack of tech knowledge they had. Ghost in the Machine gets a 4, 2 out of 5 X's. So good folks at YouTube, are there any technology based horror or thriller films that actually do work? And especially look for the ones from the 1990s. What do you think of this episode and the evil within the computer machine? Did it work for you? Let me know in the comment section below and look out for my review of episode 8, Ice, coming to this channel in the near future. Thank you.